Yeah. What's up, y'all? Welcome hey. to Young Guns of Comedy in this month. What is up? Tuesday, 7 p.m. Every Tuesday, tune in. Same time, same place. To your favorite show, Young Guns of Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you follow us on Twitter, you know. Right. Young Guns Comedy. Tell right. your friends to tune in. Hey, hey, time to get turned up. Hey, we got two special guests yeah. uh, today. Uh, right. Hey. Yo, boy in the building. What's up? What's up? What's up? AKA Shampoo. I'll let your boy. Shampoo. <laughs> oh, so y'all don't even introduce people. Okay. Uh, I thought... <laughs> We're just going to let you introduce yourself. Man, you know. this was so funny. I'm so used to radio being like a different pattern. I'm like, all right, cool. Kanisha about to say, hey, dope boy, what's going on with you? I'm going to go to Shay. And she'll be like, hey, Clayton. All right, cool. Um, First off, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Young Guns Radio, Young Guns Comedy. You can't have Young Guns Comedy without the Young Gun, Clayton Thomas in the building. I be Clayton Thomas, uh, sitting in for my man, Mr. B.T. Kingsley, one of the kings of the streets, co-host for him, my man, Tony Baker. We in the building. I am blessed to be so next to such beautiful women. Kanisha's comedy, yes. Miss Shea Dixon, bringing chocolate back because it ain't never left. Holla at you, baby. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> That's an awesome introduction. Ass. Ass. No, huh? that, thank you. Y'all got to keep up, ladies. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's so as in. he just said, bringing chocolate back. I'm Shay Dixon. So, guys, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. That's at S H A D I X O N. And um, the light skinned lady. Hey. Oh, right? baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Segregation. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know who it is. Your favorite girl to watch, Kanisha Buss It, baby. Pow, pow. Buzz it, baby. baby. Follow me on Kanisha is comedy, K A N I S H A, on Twitter. Um, also, if you're out there listening, please go check out my new movie called The Diary of a Cheating Woman. And I'm doing interviews. I got men crying, falling out. And, uh, I can't wait. Wiz, to let watch you it. know that this can't is not wait. her first movie. <laughs> this is her new, next, her new, new movie. movie. You understand? Uh, she ain't new to this. It, yes. So please go get it. Walmart, Redbox. And then the next one will be out in two months. Wait I'll tell second. you about that. I'm sorry. This what? is so. Is, is the D, are you doing all the special effects? Yes. This is amazing. This is, Roscoe's has really came up. Like, I don't know how y'all know, but Roscoe's radio ain't just making waffles no more, folks. They are making <laughs> hot radio shows, and this is what's going on. Shout out to DJ Always. Always keeping it fresh and funky up here on Young Guns of Comedy. Be some Trina. Make sure you play some Trina We're today. We're not playing Trina today. A little bit of Trina. <laughs> anyway, what y'all get into this weekend before uh, we get into the show? Oh, man, I was, uh, you know, I was chilling doing what I normally do on the weekends, man. You know, drinking, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, kicking and calling into work. Drinking yeah. and calling yeah. the answer. What I do on the weekends. I'm baby. hope your boss ain't watching. Why you got your work badge on you? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Tell the people where you work at, though, boy. I work at Directv, man. You know, been getting cussed out because uh, everybody had lost VH1 for a couple weeks and Aww. couldn't watch DBJ. So oh, uh, did you have a is really it back on? TV? Hey, yeah, man, I put these calls oh, okay. on you, man. I got cussed out wow. every day. Yeah, people got to see that love shit. in hip hop. The whole wow. shit. <laughs> About Stevie J. Oh, that's serious. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really. I've never really watched it. I'm be honest. I, you know. I've never watched I, it. It is, it is the best show in the world. Scrappy's Ever. mother, Ever. Oh, wow. for one, spells bitch. She was like, and yeah, she's a bitch. B-I-C-T-H, and in that order. In that Everybody order. was like, uh, Wow. I don't know. And then they got this Puerto Rican man wow. girl named Miss Joslyn. <laughs> and she has the thickest accent in American history. She looks history. like Rihanna Big Brother. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! And Shots she, fired. Like, have you ever really let me, TV? I'm not going back to Swift Clay. You can't send me back. I'm not going back. I'm not going back, TV. And she took, and she pissed on a piss test because she was pregnant by him. And he already got a baby's mom. She's supposed to be the artist. He kept the piss test in his pocket. Was just we, walking oh. around with it. <laughs> so, wow. The show was real. You got, like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta show you this. Like, what? Now? You gotta check it out. These so. are the kind of things that are keeping black folks back. I gotta say, man. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to jump into this or if you're supposed to do a shake because yeah. looking your eye. Yeah, um, <laughs> we need to let the people at home know what today's topic is. Okay. All okay. right. So I'm today not. we are talking about um, what would you do if you had 24 hours left to live? Mm. What would you do? Who would you spend that time with? So, guys, make sure you call in because we definitely want to know how you would spend your last 24 hours. And What's we're going to let number? you know and the how we you spend our call. last 24 hours. It's 323-965-1600. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. 323-965-1600. Call in right now. Right. We getting it in. All right. So what was you going to say about your weekend? Because we'll, we'll talk about the topic when we get back. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> she said, what did you get into? Don't you mean who? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> it would only be my girlfriend. You know what? I had a great weekend, man. I performed. I did my show, The Extravaganza, one of the hottest shows uh, on the West Coast, if you didn't know about it, comedy, poetry, and music. Just yes. selfish plugging is what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> I am ClaytonThomas.com. That's what I did. I don't know what you guys got into. What you do, Kanisha? 
I'm sure it was something exciting. Um, yes. Uh, I was with my rude boy from Jamaica. And oh. <laughs> we've been off and on for oh. 10 years. So I, 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 when I see him, <laughs> welcome to John Rock. That's why I was walking in here a little crooked. Oh. Wow. Yes. Right. That's a grown woman right. statement. Kanisha Whenever somebody says they've been kicking it for 10 years plus, that's grown. Kanisha yeah. is the queen of old flames. She has, <laughs> <laughs> she has the smoldering charcoal that she always has. Rekindle. Something like, oh, I've been messing with this nigga forever. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it was the summer 2002, but we brought it back. You know what I mean? Ja Rule was popping, but now I felt the need to bring him back. Yes, my baby. How was your and what about your weekend? I actually went on a date with um one of the callers from oh. last week. Uh oh, wow. that shows if you sure. call into the date. show, you can get okay. a date. <laughs> we'll I actually went on two dates with them. Oh, how did it go? Oh. What happened? Where it did he take okay. you? Okay, I don't know if there'll be a third date. Damn, okay. damn, thanks for losing okay. a viewer. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know. He's he's not he's not from here. He's leaving. So. What was the date like? Give me. What did he take um, you? Well, what I happened? Had an, I had an audition for an independent film, so I took him. With me to the audition, mm -hmm. <laughs> he, oh. he got the audition too. It was funny. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> can I stop you? Please let me stop you. This is what only, I'm in, LA. only, only in, in LA. Only in LA will you go on a date yeah. and go on an audition for an independent film, and the film is so independent they were like, "Your date want to audition?" Too? That's right. No, <laughs> the he, only he time. Can squeeze him in somewhere. He came in with me, and they actually told him he could be an extra. No, oh. I don't know if he wants to be an extra. But no, then we went to lunch, and it was great because he actually paid for it. For right. The first time. That is great. Well, um, you miss Shay. She pays for dates, but that's a long. She story. better. What? She want to eat. <laughs> that's another conversation. Let's keep going. Now. going okay, and then we we went to the beach. So we kind of just chill, talk. You know, I wanted to see where his head was, if it was like potential for anything more. On that audition, that's where his head was. He's trying to make it. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> the way I got the story back, this nigga got a leading role, and now he want to move here. Now uh, she's saying he's yeah, he fucking with you. <laughs> 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 you are beneath him. All right, you Baby guys. Baby girl, I'll sit in there when my oh, agent calls me We're going to go to break. Oh. Make sure you tune in. Young Guns Comedy. Tell everybody to call in 323-965-1600, and we'll be back with the drink of the day. Oh. Ooh, and don't forget... Hey. What would you do if you only had 24 hours to live? And the number to call, 323-965-1600. Uh-oh. Wow.
brings us back. Yeah. Hey, Welcome back to the Young Guns of Comedy, guys. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Huh? Make sure you go to our website. It is younggunscomedy.com. So you can watch it live or just go there whenever you're bored, when you're on your lunch break, and you can watch all of our old episodes. I'm one of your hosts, Shay Dixon. So follow me on Twitter at S-H-A-D-I-X-O-N. And I am Doughboy on Twitter as well. You can reach me at I am Doughboy. And I'm about to go get these drinks for my girl. Uh, yes, and make sure you follow me. Kanisha is comedy. K-A-N-I-S-H-A is comedy. And your other hosts? We already know your boy guest host, and I be Clayton Thomas. That's I, the letter B, Clayton Thomas, on Twitter right now. Pow. Yeah. yeah. And hey, everybody know what time it is. What it's time, time for one of my specialty drinks now. What happens is... You find yourself around the house with leftover shots, right? Mm. You're like, this is some bullshit. I can't do nothing with it. But if you gather them all together, it's called the shot of death. So what you do is you take all your leftover liquor, just pour it in a in a, in a cup. That cannot be safe. It's called all. the shot of death. It's called the shot of death. So you'll die if you drink this. Listen, and that's I definitely what we want to promote. So I definitely don't. I don't. I don't think Shay I be a stops part of drinking this. every Tuesday. But you know what? <laughs> you got to celebrate that victory of a week. So what you do is you mix. <laughs> you mix. All wait a wait a good. minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> the victory of a week. What kind of life are you living when you don't know if you gonna make it the I, next week? That's them titty lives. Look, it's 24 hours to live. You, should. Hours to live. you know what it is. So you know what it is. Yeah. The so, DJ's killing me with these gunshots, man. I'ma take. I'ma. I'm oh God. I'ma yeah. let everybody. I'ma. Here we go. Dope. Tell me. Oh Dope. Man. Shot of death. Go go. Oh my God. Jesus, be with me. Did you chill that? You know what, Shay? I'm tired of your booty. Oh, mess. sweat. Oh, did you chill it? Oh, yeah, chill the hell out. Ooh. Yeah, go ahead. That's those first. those That's liqueurs first. have nothing to do with each other. Go ahead. I don't drink. You go ahead. At all. I don't drink. We he, all know he that. Has to, no, right? he's actually a virgin drinker. Swing yeah, I don't drink. back this Stop playing this game. Oh, no, I love how she slid to come to me. Go ahead, oh go my ahead, God. Go ahead, oh celebrate. Go. It's the shot of death. What I'm telling you is, you don't want to take too many of these. Um, you know what this seems like to me. This is. It pure like, peer it pressure it is what tastes, I'm saying. It tastes like failure. That's what it does. Listen. <laughs> and, uh, and you have a lot. It's like making a drink. So, yeah, it's strong. Oh but what God. I'm saying is. Oh, Ooh. my God. Oh, my God. You Note to y'all out one there. 323-965-1600. <laughs> Call in ahead, right now. Boy. Tell us what you think. Tell us how you're feeling, what you think about oh, Kanisha, wow. these titties, pouring these drinks. Because oh. that's all it is at this point. At this point, she's just going to be titties, pouring drinks. Woo. Titties, pouring We actually food. have a caller. <laughs> that caller in the building. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, Tall from Washington. Hey, Tall. Woo. What's with it? Hey, hey. How are you? I'm, I'm doing fine. How you guys doing? We doing good. Now, boo, you from Washington, D.C. or Washington, the state? Man, Seattle, Washington, hey, damn business. You 206 in this month. <laughs> What's going on, baby? If you had 24 hours to live, what would you do with it? Man, I'm spending it with my daughter. You know what I'm saying? I want the last moments on this earth to be with my daughter. You know what I'm saying? So she knows that daddy was always there with her through everything. To, to, to her last, you know what I'm saying? Well, until so 24 sweet. hours later. Yeah, that's good, though, man. <laughs> <laughs> daddy was always here for you, baby girl. He until that 25th hour. He, he thought he really had 24 hours that, left. That's sweet. That, Why? Am I the only one pissed off? I don't have no dad, so I don't want to hear no da- father-daughter <laughs> bullshit. Like, I'm like, man, fuck that baby. Go kick oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yo, yo. That's how I feel. I hate hearing all sentiment so, me and my Cut baby. two what, years what later, would, and it's got a little alcohol on the table, ladies and gentlemen. What would you and your daughter do, Tal? What would we be doing? Yeah, what would you guys do? Man, I'd probably read her her favorite book. You Aww. Know what I'm saying? What's up, man? That's so yeah. sweet. You ain't going to smash nothing. You just going to spend 24 hours with her. <laughs> Are uh-huh. you talking about smash? That came out wrong. You no. want to say that one more time? No, you're just going to spend the entire 24 hours with her. Won't you give her that last little 15 and then kick it the rest that of the time? That last little kick 15? It the rest and cr- she, needs, she needs the whole 24. She, she needs everything. The yeah. whole yeah, That's a good dad, man. Salute. I got a little girl, too. Salute, man. Mm-hmm. We yeah, salute, and we don't know if he even be with her now. And he got years. <laughs> but he going to spend that last 24 I'm going to spend the last 24 <laughs> with the first 16. Huh? All right, thank you, Tom. Thanks, thanks for calling, for man. Call right, next what's week. Love? Yeah, that was that wasn't a call for us. That was a call for him to call his baby mama and let her know <laughs> that he a good baby father. Like I told everybody, I did it in front of everybody. Yeah, that you know what I'm saying. He gonna take this shit to court. Let me, let me see my daughter, bitch. I commend I commend him for that. More Come men should do things support. like that. Come down on that y'all support. Yeah, so make sure y'all give a call. Y'all know the number three two three nine six five one six zero zero. All right. So who who wanna who wanna talk about if they had twenty four hours to live? You. Me? Yeah, you over here taking shots at 6 p.m. hours to live. <laughs> <laughs> Living fast, dying young. <laughs> well, I would probably be drunk. No, you okay. know what? I have a real list. Like, I really had to sit down and think about it. If I had 24 hours to live, 
I would like to try crack because I want to see. Wow. The only reason why I want to do it. Because, I'm hitting that with you. Yeah, I want to oh, see. No. Wow. Have you seen what crack does to people? What is this high that got people sleeping outside, selling off their kids, selling off their furniture, stealing from their grandmama, selling me VCRs half off? I want to know VCR. what. Yes. Yeah. In, in oh, I still got all my VHSs. You can get them from Goodwill for 50 cents. I got all the movies. Surf Ninjas coming to America. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. But you know what? Before I finish my <laughs> list, we're going we gonna to put pause on crack because we got another call coming in. You know, they come first. Ron from D.C., Daddy. How you doing? Hey, Ron. What's up? What's, What's going on? How y'all doing this evening? We're chilling. What's, What's good, up, brother? Good. Trying to see what you're going to do uh, if you had 24 hours to live. Oh, I know what I would I know what I'd do. First, I throw a big-ass party. Yeah. All the drinks everywhere. And... Have mad, passionate love or sex with Kenesha Bush. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice sound effect by the DJ. <laughs> Killing the game. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, glad to be in somebody's dying wish. I'll be. <laughs> I'll be I could die right there. Once I do that, once I bust that nut, I'm done. I'll be like, all right, take me now. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, DC, my man. Let me ask you this right now. If you had the opportunity to have sex with Kanisha on your last 24 hours, what if it was whack as hell and you just played yourself (laughs) (laughs) with 10 hours left of your life? I'm like, this this, this, shit, oh, fuck. Uh, (laughs) I should have chose the chick from Subway. Uh. (laughs) And these 24 hours. <laughs> Thanks for the call, I, I'm man. Sh- I'm sure that you he All would right, be y'all. very pleased. Fuck y'all. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Call call back next week. Yes. So <laughs> he's definitely not on my last 24 hours. So crack. Oh, God. I'm hitting that what pipe. I'm hitting that with you. you. Mm. Well, uh, Shay, I'm tired of your bullshit. It's crack. That's so what? Disgusting. I'm not going to be here to talk about it tomorrow. You ain't going to see me homeless. <laughs> oh my God. Or toothless. Like, That's hey, a great what? point. Okay, but yeah. what if there was an afterlife and you kind of transition from You don't this go world high world to the afterlife. Until your afterlife. What if? Because the Lord got that different actually, type of weed. And then you go into your afterlife as a crackhead. I'm not because I haven't developed into a crackhead. I Access just, for souls for everybody to give you a dollar. Come on, baby. Give me a dollar. Come on, Grandma. It's me. Baby, come on, Grandma. <laughs> Grandma, it's your baby. Meet, you want to meet God? Hi, on whatever. God. Anyway, <laughs> Hi on I would call my ex because I always make him feel guilty for the dirt he did. Mm. But I would call and bust him out and make him feel so stupid to be like, "Nigga, I trumped you about forty-eight and a half times." I will want him to know, and I will want to see the look on his face. Um, I would spend time with my Jamaican lover, and then I would kick it with my family. And then the last thirty minutes, okay, I would probably have sex with everybody I wanted to sleep with. Like, be like, you know what, Speedy. I know. Oh, you know, baby. <laughs> it just got uh, real. He's been like, trying oh. to hit for years, so I'll be like, you oh know what? God. Just cause. Let me just do it. Just No one's speedy. He will call and put a hit out on you and let you know <laughs> you got 24 hours just to make that happen. Uh-huh. Be like, I'm, whoever wants, I'm going to just fuck. Who, why not? If they want to sleep with me, why not me give them the opportunity before I leave? So. And that is what's oh, wrong no. with America. Do you see this? <laughs> this is what's wrong with us raising and, daughters. <laughs> and my last, third, it's because my daddy didn't want to spend his last 24 with me. And my last thing I would do was spend the last 30 minutes. Praying because once you pray for forgiveness, all everything is good. So I'm gonna Just go to heaven sorry. with hella stories. Wouldn't it be messed up if you died in the middle of your prayer and God be like, oh, <laughs> if you would have finished? Just the way the quickie crumbles sometimes. <laughs> Doughboy, did you say yours already? I didn't say mine yet. No. Say yours, Doughboy. Go what ahead. I would do, um, honestly, like the first 12 hours, I'd be really on some like say goodbye shit. Like I would do. I don't know if y'all ever seen that movie Life with Michael Keaton a long time ago. He had cancer and shit. I would like make tapes. For my daughter for every year of her life. Wow. Like, you know what I'm saying? Big. So every birthday she get a tape and I'd be like, You seventeen now. Blah 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 blah. I do that till she was like ninety or some shit. And then I kick it with her, for take twenty four hours? No, no, I would just for, I would I would make a videotape for each year of her life. But I would just okay. make it like five, ten make minutes. Make a message, yeah. Year. You see what I'm saying? Oh, okay. And That's then, dope. I never heard you know, that. put that up. And then I kick it with her, go say goodbye to the family. But that last 12 hours, I'm going ham. I was about to say, I'm dope boy. Kanisha's crack pipe. I'm, oh, my God. Yeah, I'm trying to smash We're going to have a freestyle session I'm, on death. Yes, I'm, I'm going bad. And then the last 10 minutes, I'm, I'm repenting. Yeah, see? And trying to get in the mix. <laughs> you said y'all was going to have a freestyle mm. session on death? Yeah. I'm about to die in 10 minutes. It's about to go down. Do you understand? My life is I'm over. I'm no longer about to be around. That's so yeah. funny. Come on, put me in the ground. <laughs> if it just died, that'd be a great ending. So but, what would you okay. do with your last 24 Man, hours? Man, my last 24 hours, the first couple hours, I'm getting the family out the way, saying, y'all, I love y'all, take care, all of that. Nobody said the most sensible thing, which is trying to set up financially for y'all kids' future. <laughs> I don't have no y'all kids. saying y'all want to talk to you? I, I want to kick no you with kids. my daughter and make a tape play every year of her life. You don't want to set her up with insurance? You don't want to call a company and get bonds to her? 
I'm going to sell all of my assets so my family get wrote off. I'll make sure all my royalties for my comedy get sent to them. Like, I'm doing business stuff. And then the last two hours, I'm probably going to uh, spend some personal time with myself with one of these porno videos because it's just my time because I ain't trying to smash everybody. And then... um. I mean, here's the thing. I think when you've had enough sex, you ain't trying to fuck everybody by the time you're down. Like, I've had enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to beat off before you go? Before you <laughs> Why <take> not, <laughs> dude? It's less cleanup. I ain't got to walk nobody <laughs> out. Take it off minutes. Like, it took me four minutes. Nigga, but you only got 24 hours. I need these minutes. And it's yeah. the other hour 56 playing video games? I swear to you. No, you know what's funny? I would like to go out on stage. So, first Ooh. of all, 323-965-1600. I've been doing comedy since I was 17, so I would like to be on stage before I go and say, ladies and gentlemen, this is literally my final show. We're going to count down the clock together, and as soon as the clock hits 12, I need y'all to give so me the standing ovation. So he emotionally damaged the, all his God plans. bless y'all. Like, nigga, no, I was there and died. But what, if, but what if you start bombing before you die? <laughs> that? And you try to win the crowd back? Yeah, like, wait, but nigga. <laughs> but wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold I got on. another one. <laughs> y'all go, this how y'all going to do me before I go? <laughs> Come on, y'all. Don't be like that. This is the last step. <laughs> give, give me, I need a stand. <laughs> give me one more time. Standing ovation, huh? Nobody? <laughs> or what if the night that you decided to perform your last show, it was an empty crowd? You're like, Come Come on, man. I can't get at least 25 people. Go down to Mo Better Money be like, look, Spike, nigga, I'm about to go punch that nigga in his face, slap him right. Y'all can't get me. Get or the on show stage. get canceled, you be like, hey, man. <laughs> yeah, I know it's your final show and everything, man. But, uh, I know you want to go on. Mike Epps came right. through, so we got to put him. in the building. Yours was a little better than theirs. Yours didn't include crack. Oh, no, I'm not uh, doing no drugs. Crack. I'm hitting that and crack, Mine's is closer to his. But I already have my, my business stuff set up, so I don't have to spend my last 24 hours doing that. Did you notice the that. chocolate woman but, said she got her business set up? Yeah. Message. Oh, okay. Chocolate lifestyle, baby. Holla at your baby. Man, so, give me a two light would, skin high I five. Would. Not getting pulled over by the police for Never. nothing in this motherfucker. Touche. Well, I would put together, like, a party, and I would invite all of my family, friends, and loved ones, and we would have, like, a five-course meal. We would, if the people who want to drink, we could have alcohol you, you ain't for no them. Drink? Uh, probably not. I want to record it, so I want it to be videotaped. So everything will be videotaped, and you know, so that they can they can have it as as their memory. What are you pushing my face closer to this thing for? I'm getting this. Uh, we all friends. Fuck the signals. Just say what you want us to do. Real talk. <laughs> this is getting because uh, Speedy will always throw his hand up like inadvertently, like. Hey, we <laughs> oh, I think I remember this. Yeah. So in the last 24 hours, are you finally gonna go ahead and uh, talk into the mic? Oh, oh, is that why I was uh, being? You know, you, if I got married in my last twenty four hours, ain't nobody married. Just you. like a woman. I'm saying. <laughs> Enjoy this last I don't time. know. If Wait a second. Let me ask this. I don't because I'm you know I'm I a guest on the to. show. I'm guest yes. hosting again from my man BT Kingsley, Tony Baker. Shout out to them. I want to ask, what is this thing? You're an adult woman in America. I sure am. And how I are you not giving oral sex? What's that about? I just don't want to. But before I she's explaining, if you haven't listened to the show, because a few people are lost, I can see. Shay Dixon is a grown woman and has never given fellatio. Head, whatever you want to call it. She's not doing it until she gets married. And you're single, right, Shay? Yes. I am single. Exactly. Can we go to I, break well, right now? We uh, want you to call it 323 965 1600. We'll talk about this when we get back, Shay. And you're not going to get a husband either. We're going to break. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Young Guns of Comedy. I love this energy.
What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Young Guns of Comedy. You guys just heard a commercial from our sponsor, which is Kellyanne Hair. So check out KellyanneHair.com and get some of those good hair products. I am one of your hosts, Shay Dixon. Follow me on Twitter at S H A D I X O N. Uh, it's your girl, Kanisha Bussett, baby. Follow me on Twitter, K-A-N-I-S-H-A is comedy. It's your boy, Doughboy. Follow me on Twitter, I am Doughboy. That's D-O-B-O-Y. I let your boy. It's your man, I be Clayton <laughs> Thomas. Y'all already know who it is. I'm going to talk even more calm until y'all follow your boy, I be Clayton Thomas. I am ClaytonThomas.com. I'll let your man. We back in the building. Call in 323-965-1600. Uh, 24 hours left to live. What would you do? Right, so today we're talking about, as he said, 24 hours left. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Mm -hmm. So they actually surveyed a bunch of people, you know, to see what the, the top priorities are. And most people said that their top priorities or the top concerns in their last 24 hours were their health, pleasure, money, happiness, respect, and the evolution of their immortal souls. So I guess that's where the praying that you guys are saying, y'all, oh, okay. spend y'all's last 10 minutes yeah. praying because mm -hmm. you guys want your... Your souls to yeah. evolve to. Um, well, here's the. the I'll life. say this. Sorry for everything. Yeah, this, you know, so, you know yeah. what? I'll say this, and the only reason I didn't say the whole religion thing because you know one way to divide any type of people is to talk about politics and religion. So whoever you believe in or whatever you believe in. If you feel that you want to do that, then do that. If you worship the devil, you might want to do all the stuff that they said and be like, you know what, fine. Let me just uh, end up where I end up. But, <laughs> you know, I just don't really bring up the whole religion thing because I just can't stand the people who bring up religion and force their religion on you. Like, yeah, hey, brother, yeah. uh, you want one of these final calls with these suits and these uh, ties? <laughs> like, hey, man, I don't feel like it right I'm now. I'm in the movie. I'm in the movie. But what if I'm it was his last Hold on one second. Hey, That's man, what, what did the gunshot call for that time? <laughs> <laughs> was there any need for a gunshot? Go ahead, Kanisha. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, I was like, but what if that's his last 24 hours and he wanted to serve the Lord and you wouldn't buy his final call in his last minute? That's kind of cold. <laughs> I mean, if I gave him the money, I don't mean I'm going to read it, so he still might go to heaven or wherever you <laughs> yeah. end up. All right. So uh, before we left, we were talking about Shay, and we just want to know. Yeah. yeah. So no, back I mean, to, back if, to I, the if, I, if I spent my whole life not doing it, why would I choose to do it? Because you got to, I ain't never hours. doing crack, but if I got 24 hours, yeah. I'm going to hit that glass pipe. Yeah. Well, I'm not hitting, I'm hitting a, that crack too. I'm a hitting that crack. pipe or anything that looks like a pipe. You know, it's actually a lot of fun. Yes. And you, what would probably happen is you would enjoy it, and then you're going to be pissed that you got to die. Like, damn, I should have been doing this. Are you sick? No. Did you hear what she just said? No. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And why would you? We got a caller right okay. now. Uh, let's take the caller. <laughs> caller, it what's going on? My mommy. Uh, she's probably mom. drunk as hell. Hello? Hello, LA. Oh, shit. You got your white Hi. woman voice on. <laughs> <laughs> white woman voice. Hi, mom. Oh, shit. What's going on, mom? It's your favorite mom coming from Seattle. <laughs> How Look. many does she have? <laughs> she well, my, my mom's always drunk, so don't pay her no mind. Mom, we want to know if you had 24 hours, what would you do to live? Goddamn, I would go get me a 24 pack of Miller. <laughs> Find me a white boy because I ain't never had one. Oh my wow. God. And my mom's white, by the way, so that's what makes it even funnier. Keep going. Wow. And put on MC Hammer's when we pray. <laughs> we got to pray just to make it today. I said yeah. we pray. Pray. Oh, and a little bit of blood on the side. A little bit of blood on the side? What's that? Oh. Blood, blood. Oh, blood. Some, trees. some trees. Oh, shit. Yes. All wow. right. Wow. I can get with that. I can get with that. that that's and she like got the music list. playing too, so she could, you know, get her spiritual thing together. That's exciting. That. It is. Get with that. Hopefully, after I get done with the 24 pack of Miller, I can remember what I was supposed to be doing before I die. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be passed out in the last eight hours? <laughs> like, yeah, you're going to see it coming? It's going to wake up at the gates. <laughs> oh, I'm not a wasted my last six hours. <laughs> Where are those angels at? They gotta be here to get me. Aww. Well, is, this, is it Miss Bus? Is that her, her last name? Yeah, Bus. Is... Call me Kim. Call you? Hey, if I call you Kim, I'm gonna mess around and smash. Anyway, what I wanted to say she, is, she would um, like you, wouldn't you, Mama? Tall, hey, dark, and handsome. I am pretty tall. I do uh, need a step daddy. <laughs> Just as long as you ain't white, it's okay. That is uh, oddly a shame. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you are amazing from all the things that Kanisha has told us about you. Thank you so much for calling us, Miss Bus. And it is a pleasure, Kim, to have okay. you on the show. Nice talking to you guys. Nice all talking right. to you, too.
Y'all stay alive. You need oh, to, baby. Yeah, too. <laughs> Speedy, don't make that face at my mama. I'll kill you. Your mama is a Negro, the way she talks. <laughs> if you guys didn't know. Some, some Bud Lights and some Bud. I want some Bud. I want some chicken, some pig feet. Oh, wait a minute. Man. And if you look at me, my mother is white, so it, the shit is hilarious. But if you ever wonder what's wrong with me, there you go. Boom. That is funny. Because what's funny is you want to go out with alcohol, your mom want to go out with weed. So that's definitely uh, <laughs> <laughs> the vice orientation. <laughs> Family alcoholics. Uh, anyway, uh, it's uh, to Clayton. <laughs> yeah, talk to him. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I'm you just forgot your thought. Keep in mind, the number to call in is 323 965 1600. Who in particular would you spend your time with? I don't think you just, you know, you said family as, as a whole. Are there. Uh, as a whole, it would because they're so hard to choose one person. If I have to choose out of my family, I would choose uh, my mother Aww. because my mother's amazing. However, if I had to choose from a regular life, my girl, man, and I mean that as my girl's amazing. However, I will say, even if we weren't together, I would want to spend time with her because she is that incredible of a person. I would be like, you know what? This nigga sound like a sucker. Let me go ahead and get out of here. <laughs> sound like a sucker. All right, guys. We got a caller right here. Congo Don't be mad at me because I love my girl. Make some noise. Call up. We got Lynette in the building. Hey, Canoga Lynette. Park. Hey, how you doing? Good. What up, how though? Are you? Is this my Lynette? Yes, it is. How there you doing? it is. What up, though, girl? Thanks for calling. What, 24 hours to live. What would you do? Oh, my goodness. I try to travel the world and do as much as I can. With what money I have in the bank and spend it all since it's not going with me. Now that's what's up. the I only like downside I gotta I like say that. is you can't do the whole world. That's what but I was you know, say. I, I know like I can't do the whole world, but I would try. <laughs> you can't go nowhere. The fly, have you right. been to LAX? That's your own. You better not be flying southwest. I would try to do as much traveling as I can in 24 hours. I know I couldn't do much, but I would try to get out and just you know. I hate for you to have a layover. That's all I'm about. <laughs> you flying on a buddy pass. That's a wrap. <laughs> you stuck in Kansas? <laughs> Southwest, your last 24 hours? I'm in South Southwest. Give me around the place. You know, that's the cheapest flight. Give me where I want to go. You need to do something. Close Unless you're in to Group you. C. You're in Group C. It's a wrap on you getting on the plane. <laughs> we know you want to go to Paris, but can you stop in Cleveland for two days? <laughs> no, but realistically, realistically, I would love to go back home and uh, visit my family that I haven't seen in a long time. So, no, so up, quick man. question. This is a question that we haven't asked um, anybody. What's keeping you from doing that now? Oh. Um, well, I see my family once a year, but if I had 24 hours to live, that's who I would want to go out. That's where I want to be around. You know, I still yeah. see my family once a year, but that's where I would want to be. People that love and, re and that's real and that, that has my best interest at heart. That's who I would want to be around. Now, that's what's up. I like that, that answer. Lynette, that nice. thank you so much for calling, thank you baby. So much. It's always yeah. a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank that's, you. That's very educated. It's, yeah, man. We got more callers. I see. Do we? I can't see the... Blowing up like a night. I want to get all the callers. Y'all writing the callers down, right? Yeah, y'all just kicking I got it. Right, cool. yeah, I don't know. Y'all yeah, just, just kicking it. Up. I don't know what's crazy. Oh, I'm a guest yeah. host, but y'all ain't showing me no affection. Anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we got a new caller. Uh, caller, what's your name? We don't have a caller. Oh, the shit was blinking. All right. Well, that's uh, that's why you let us do this. Now, try anyway. to produce the don't show try. Here's the thing. The Here, first of all, nigga, I brought you in. That's number one. <laughs> number two, uh, ladies, don't you ever show out on me when we on the air. You ever talk to me when we take a break? How dare you try to front on Clayton Thomas? Because you just try to front on us, ass, and we walk I will put them titties right? back in that dress. You understand me? Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, something that Shay said, she was like, what's keeping you from doing it? Uh, I don't want to be a crackhead, so that's why I'm not never going to do crack unless I knew I had 24 where I was to do it because, mm. uh, except for you know, it would help me, you know, lose a few pounds. So, it, you is know, that what you think? I was thinking about that too. I mean, crack. early life, it sounds cool and everything, but I might have to crack, crack. Wait a second, ladies Drop and gentlemen. Now we have a caller. <laughs> it happens to be the guy I'm filling in for my best friend in the world, Mr. BT Kingsley. Make some noise. <laughs> oh, hi, BT. BT, yeah. what up, though? It's going down. It's <laughs> good, bro. What up, y'all? Hey, what up, boy? We miss you. Kanisha, you have no idea how incredible your titties look on this goddamn YouTube. Oh. This is fucking fantastic. Thank you, because you're always sitting next to me. I'm feeling good. Yeah, pump them shits up. Fantastic. Let's focus, brother. Uh, Where you at, man? <laughs> Where you at in the country? What are you doing? Where you performing? I'm in, uh, I'm in Atlanta right now, um, getting it in. Just got through taping uh, the first TV credit. Uh, off okay. the chain, it was there it is. fucking fantastic. DJ, you ain't going to hit the, the crowd cheer for his first TV appearance? <laughs> yeah, always. What the fuck, man? I want some <laughs> There it is. <laughs> yeah, nigga, press that computer button. <laughs> <laughs> 24 hours to live, man. What would you do? 
24 hours to live. Okay, first things first. Um, I'm getting drunk because I've been wanting to get drunk. What? There's a little alcoholic inside me that wow. won't allow that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get fucked up in the first hour. That way, by the second hour, I will be I should be good. That's not how it works. It's about uh, the fifth hour, but keep going. I got nothing. I got nothing. We just going to have to see how it happens. Um, I'm going <laughs> I'm going, uh, now, first of all, in my mind, the, in my last 24 hours is the last 24 hours. So as far as I'm concerned, when it's, when I'm over, it's over. <laughs> That's okay. hilarious. This, this Life for everybody is done. It's very self-centered, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go raw with a whole bunch of chicks. Oh, wow. Uh, whether they willing or not is irrelevant. <laughs> oh, um, baby. <laughs> no charges. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, Jill, Jill Scott, uh, Beyonce, they, they getting it raw. Condoms on for suckers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But here's the dope part. I'm not going to bust because I want to make sure everybody gets full dick. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want no bad oh, story. That nigga was weak as hell before he left. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be giving, trying to give it just a gummy worm. You the, know, gummy worm. <laughs> the gummy worm. The gummy worm. We're yeah. soft I'm going to uh, go get some uh, shrimp uh, some shrimp wrapped in bacon because it's my favorite meal. Oh, you know. Uh, some fucking Thai food, some fried chicken. I'm eat good. How much time and do I'm you fun. have, nigga? Shit, <laughs> this brother's doing every <laughs> six weeks worth of shit. Because that's always fun. I'm gonna um, go shoot a movie. I'm gonna write another one. <laughs> Produce I'm a TV show. A police officer and run. Yeah, um, do that in your last 20 minutes. It's LAPD, the they'll shoot you dead, nigga. I'm gonna kill George Zimmerman since the fucking uh, since the criminals is moving so goddamn slow. Because uh, <laughs> this nigga's still walking around. Uh, I'm gonna have sex with a couple more chicks that uh, I have been avoiding. And then I'm a Mary Shay, so I can be the only nigga that who thinks you say. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, on the high note, BT Kingsley, ladies and gentlemen. You got to leave after the high note. Thank you so much Thank for calling, BT. BT. We miss you. You got to marry me. You got to marry me, Shay. We go together. It's a serious relationship. Uh, and <laughs> it's papers on. I appreciate y'all. All right, man. Y'all. Love you, BT. Go be like a minnow. Let's go. Kanisha Bush, Shay Dixon. We love y'all. All right. All Next right. caller. All right. Max at Woodland Hills. Who is it? What's... Ella from Woodland Uh-oh. Hills. How you doing, sweetie? This is my Elia. What up, girl? Hi, Elia. I'm doing great. How are you? Great. great. Talk to us. Last 24 hours to live, what would you do? Okay, so this is what I would do. All my friends and family have, like, this girl next door image of me, so obviously <laughs> we all have our secrets. I think I would write a book of... Um, like within 24 hours of like my top 10 secrets and kind of dish everything out. Wow. Mm. And then run a whole bunch of red lights and park illegally everywhere. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's the squarest. <laughs> 24 hour exit. Listen. For the red lights? Let me tell you something. She <laughs> said she's going to write a tell all book. Right. So if the tell all book is all her sexual exploits, let her pop run a couple red lights. Let her right. do her thing. Can we get one of those secrets before the last 24 hours? Well, Can you just share it with us? Oh, one. I don't know. I don't think I could do that. Give no. us one. Give Come us on. one. A half of one. I only got 24 hours. I need this. <laughs> um, NBA, that's all I'm going to say. NBA what? What happened? NBA what? And I said NBA, that's all I'm going to say. She smashed the basketball All-star player. weekend. Yeah. Wow, the Lakers. Uh We definitely going to have a conversation. What team? Yeah. <laughs> what team? Married? <laughs> single? That's Probably funny. married. Married. All right, well, first of all, let's get off the thirstiness, uh, ladies. I want to say thank you, Elia, for calling. It's conversation. No, they wanted to make sure that you ain't fuck they man. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for There's calling, Elia. Right. Love you, baby. Talk to you soon. Is it number 34? <laughs> all right. Now, have y'all heard this? I had to do this for my good friend, Tony Baker, because I'm filling in for him, man. Have y'all heard the new 2 Chains album? No. The new He's 2 garbage. Chains album is, is amazing. What? Two chains is really. I know y'all think I'm being. I'm not. It's dope, man. His lyrics is dope. It just sounds like an average day in the trap in Atlanta. I ain't never been. Oh wow! But listening to this album takes me there. Tony Baker, if you out there listening, I know you would appreciate this. You don't even like new music. Two chains. That's what it's about. If y'all ain't heard it, please go get it. Based on a true story, it's an amazing album. I put my stamp on it. Seriously. What is he talking about? Crack, Nothing. Crack. crack He's talking about strippers. Crack. <laughs> and strippers. That stripper song is oh terrible. My. It has no content. It has no value. It's a demise to the black community, mm. and I hate his ass. You just said Love and Hip Hop Atlanta was your favorite show. But listen. It's <laughs> 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 Good one, <window>, though, boy. <laughs> the album is amazing. Tony Baker loves it. He endorses no, he does it. does not. Oh. Two times. Oh. Pick it up, though. Okay. No change. I'm putting in a, a request by everybody for us to vote on a new sound effect than the gunshot of the, uh, with the DJ. We're going to break. Make sure you call in 323-965-1600.
Y'all would really have heard that two times? No. no. So after you talk about hey. hey everybody, welcome young back to the Young Guns of Comedy. Yeah. You're back. We in you that guys thing. Just heard commercials from our sponsors, Edit Your Video at edityourvideo.com and also Kelly Ann Hair. Now, I use her hair product. She has this gel. Ladies, if you like to um, like a clean, polished, finished look. And then it smells really good. I don't like products that makes my hair stink. Yes. Mm. So Kelly Ann Hair products.com check it out it's awesome it's definitely good really good i love it so <laughs> no, i don't have any in my hair right now no i was just making sure your hair smell good it, it, does. it does first of all let's not be cocky <laughs> <laughs> yeah it smells it smells nice uh for everybody wondering because you be seeing them thick ass braids you're like how does it smell it smells no, good they're called african twists I don't, I don't need the correction in front of everybody anyway okay. uh <laughs> what, what are we going into next guys? no we're gonna do a quick i'm gonna wrap up everybody with a quick rehash of everything we did because we've been listening to other people's 24 hours just so you know what we want to do Doughboy, and uh -huh. don't forget to call in if you want to 323-965-1600 add to the list of 24 he gonna hit that crack pipe with me I'm gonna he gonna crack. get drunk and he gonna spend some time with his daughter oh, that's of course his Kiara, shout out to Kiara. i love you Aww. Yes. First oh, of all, she's... why is she allowed to listen to this show? <laughs> right. That's horrible parenting. Not... And <laughs> she's listening to the computer unsupervised. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, Shay <laughs> said that she was going to party with her family and not suck a dick. And I see. And uh, Clayton, he's going to jack off and spend some time <laughs> with his family. And me, I'm a smash of AIDS victim raw, you know, because they don't usually wow. get to do that. So wow. I want to make somebody's dreams come true. You know. Hey, I'm about to die. All right, we got a caller. Uh, Marquise. Marquise. Hey, Marquise Texas. Hey, from Marquise. Texas. What's up, Miss Kanisha? What to do, baby? Oh, if I had 24 hours, Marquis, you could get it. I liked him since college, and they looked like the game. Mm. Oh, anyway. <laughs> hey, Marquis. What's up? What's up? If you had 24 hours to live, what would you do? 
Well, first and foremost, and I got to spend time with my family because I'm a family man, so I got to spend a lot of time with my family mm -hmm. outside. Okay. Sec second of all, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be praying because I am a religious man on top of this. So I'm mm -hmm. going to be praying. I do want to go to heaven, not trying to get on the whole religious thing, but I do want to go to heaven outside. And third of all, I, mean, I really don't. We really don't smoke or drink like I used to, so I gotta do something to relax my mind. But I do. <laughs> what I do, I go fishing. So I mean, I'm gonna hit some water Listen, and man, somewhere right here and go fish. Big fella, uh, I swear to God, I appreciate you for calling, man. I really do. Marquee, but your you... country accent is slowing us down. We only got 11 minutes. You going as fast as you can? I know you are. No disrespect, but man, I cannot. Yeah, I better I, leave my baby alone. But we, we got three more calls. Man. I can't you became afford such a to square. do that. I thought you was gonna be walling out. I guess time has changed. We got another call. First of all, we got my man. Can we go to Kool Aid? We got my man Kool Aid, my big brother from Detroit in the building. What up, yo? Hey, 313, what up, though? What up, what though, Kool-Aid? <laughs> How you feel, brother? I'm good, man. Thank you for calling, first of all, Kool-Aid. A lot of people don't know. Kool-Aid took time out of his busy schedule, up in the D, man, traveling the road, hitting the country, man, and call in. If you had 24 hours to live, brother, what would you do? Hey, first, let me tell you, I didn't call for you. The women sound good. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you, you ain't had shit to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Great gunshot. <laughs> Yeah, on some real shit. But if I had 24 hours to live, I don't want to sound like the last caller, but I would spend time with my mom just to tell her the bad shit I did and got away with. I want her to know about, like, my mom fucked a couple girls in your bed. Uh, I, I, I changed my, my my report card. That that A really wasn't the A, it was an F. So I would tell my mom all the shit that I did that I got away with. I want her to know. I, want, I feel bad if I died. With that on my conscience. And I got to do some illegal drug, either heroin or crack. I don't See, know what crack. Doing. Hit this crack wow. in there, Kenesha, my man. Hit this crack, though. You guys clearly crack. never grew up in the projects around crack. crackheads. First of all, my oh, aunt was a crackhead. He steal our shit all the time. And my mom used to freebase. I, you, and I was did, born with crack in my you, system. You Pause. Clearly, oh my God. Can we insert a violin noise, DJ? Yeah. You don't have to. Everybody <laughs> in the 80s. System. Everybody in the 80s had. This was Kenesha, too late. Shake Dixon don't know. Her mom hit the pipe twice. It's My mom has never done drugs. Listen, it's the oh, 80s. The Ever. Thank you, Kool Aid. No, I won't. I'll stay here seated. Ladies and gentlemen, first Kool Aid, <laughs> thank you so much here. for calling, man. I appreciate you, dog. Hey, no problem, Clayton. Keep doing your thing, bro. My thank man. You, man. Uh, honey. We got a. Uh, uh, Brent from Compton, yeah. Phi Beta Sigma, Blue Phi. Hi, Brent. Hello? <laughs> hello. H E L L O. Hello. Oh, we lost. We lost. Brent from Compton, you there? There you go. Brand from Compton, get off your boss's phone. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, uh, we got to go on to this young book thing. We got, uh... Oh, yeah. Right. The best part of the show. So I, I asked one of our callers, Lynette, you know, what, why she wasn't spending her last 20, well, living her life like she was spending her last 24 hours. And, and none of us have said anything about that. So we're talking about what would you do with your last 24 hours. The book is called 24 Hours to Live. Finding Meaning by Examining Life. Um, the book is by Jeffrey Slava Thaler, T-H-A-L-E-R. And this is a really unique book because it's more like a workbook. So he advises people to go through the workbook with their family, friends, or loved ones because it, it challenges you to really revise your life and, and figure out why you're not doing So, Kanisha, we want to know why you're not already hitting the crack pipe. <laughs> <laughs> and and well, this been to 6th <laughs> Street downtown. <laughs> LA. This book is supposed to help you live the life that, that you ultimately want to live. So you don't have to wait till the last 24 hours to live a more meaningful life. Well, you can do it now. About you can really do it now. <laughs> so follow me on Twitter. I'll also tweet the link um, to the book to where you can purchase it and to his website, 24 yeah, Hours to Live, both. Finding Meaning by Examining Life. And you can actually do that without reading the book. Examine your life now. If there are things that you want to do that you haven't done, do it. Why not? That's a, that's a, that's a yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I can get with that. I'm a, <laughs> put some serious Alrighty. thought into this crap. <laughs> to the crap. Uh, yeah. Well, um, All right, yeah, y'all. Yeah. It's about that time. And if no, it ain't. Well, I, I gotta, just switched the thing. Yeah, tell us the callers is what he Oh, okay. Said so we want to thank all of our callers. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for calling. Tune in next week. Call yeah. next week. We have Tal from Washington, Ron from D.C., Miss Kim, Kanisha's mom. Thank you, honey. Lynette from Canuga Park. BT Kingsley. I'm sorry. I don't know that word. Kingsley. <laughs> from Young Guns of Comedy. BT, hurry back. We miss you. Elia from Woodland Hills. Marquise from Texas.
Kool-Aid from Detroit, and that's it. Thank you guys for calling. Hey. I also want to thank my love. little cousin who's probably trying to call in right now, Theo Perry. So, I mean, are we still going? Y'all seem like no, okay, rapping? so this is what happens. Uh, you, they're not new to the show, so what happens is at the end of the show, when we wrap the show up, we wrap the show up, which means y'all got a freestyle about everything that happened, and everybody get like a quick little minute. Clayton, you go first. I'm definitely BT. not going first. Okay. okay. Doughboy, you go first, then we'll uh, go to Clayton. It'll be me and then Shay. Uh, go ahead. I don't uh, know why you're going to go after the uh, master. Okay. Because I'm a beast. College your baby. The young guns of comedy. Talking about 24 hours to live. What the fuck would you give? What the hell would you do? What the hell would you screw? Me, I'm hitting the crack with my girl, Kanisha, fool. Talking to my daughter, I'ma make a couple tapes. Shay say she ain't gonna suck no dick. I'm trying to hate. Yes. Talking about she getting married. I'm skeeting off. Doughboy coming through. Clayton talking about he gonna be beating off. That's uh, some sucker shit. Nah. Uh. <laughs> He tried to heckle your boy. We won't do that thing. Switch the beat up for me, DJ. That's how cold I am. Uh, it's about to be crazy. <laughs> it's called lower your expectations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, oh, this uh, uh. This ain't gonna be good for me, but I don't want to make you switch it up a third sweater time. Swag. All right. <laughs> no, that's, sweater that's swag. Not beginner beat at sweater all, DJ. Swag. <laughs> sweater swag. Sweater swag. I came through on Roscoe's radio, killed this joint from 7 to 8. Be killing your boy, it's Clayton Thomas, you know I'm late. Hey! Never kill a game because I'm always on top of it. I keep the gun in my pocket because I always don't know when I'm going to have to pull a clip. I rap fast hey! because I have no idea how to rhyme. I just write jokes. I just write my quotes and I think do things. Yo. Uh, it's, just go. <laughs> he actually read that. He Get the hell out This is Facebook. Yeah, Holla at you, baby. Y'all know what it is. I got 24 hours, I'ma get it in. I'ma hit this crack and fuck it, I'ma do it again. And I'ma get drunk, and I'ma go fuck, and I'ma go suck some <laughs> shut up. And I'ma call my mom and tell her that I love her. Bitch is crazy as hell, but I still love her. It's the young guns of comedy, busting off comedy. If you meet me in my 24 hours, you can bust off in me. Hey. Wow. Uh, okay, my go? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> I think I have something new. Thank you guys for tuning in. You have officially become, become our friends. friends. So listen in again next week. And to you guys, we can't wait to speak. Pow, young. Young Guns Thank Comedy. Go to our guys. website. It's younggunscomedy.com. Tony Baker Comedy. We got a caller. Shout out to DJ Always. Shout out to he Michelle and Speedy yeah. for producing that poet. It's working the ones and twos. Shout out to RMC <laughs> on air. Yo, on air. let me say Kingsley. this. May I say this, man? Cut the music for a minute, DJ. This is a very sincere moment, man. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for allowing Doughboy and myself to come in thank and guest host. Really appreciate you it. You know, y'all could have pitched the bitch and be like, nah, me and Kanisha going to do it. I can't. No. Y'all didn't. I appreciate you having us. I want to shout out the big homie Speed Doggy Dog. Speed I want to Dog. shout out the POTUS, the coolest motherfucker on radio. You understand me? And yeah. just in case y'all didn't know, they say it's Roscoe's Media Center. This is Roscoe's radio, all right? We on this thing. I want waffle next time I come in here. I ain't just coming to kick it. <laughs> all right, y'all. We'll see you next week, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Doughboy, your favorite fat right. nigga. I'll be Clayton Bye. Thomas. Yeah, that was an amazing show. What you gonna do for a dollar? Tell me what you gonna do for a dollar. What you gonna do?